We begin here with the deadly flash flooding and the states of emergency still up tonight. Massive flooding hitting so fast drivers were trapped today. These images from Long Island, New York highways halted when the roads quickly vanished underwater. Rescuers joining forces to push stranded cars out of the flood zone. And in Maryland, a similar scene tonight. This submerged car taking on water, the road completely overtaken by the flooding there. Highways around Baltimore shut down. And it's not just the east tonight in Phoenix. Let's take a closer look at that moment there. The driver jumping from a car to a fire truck to escape the rushing waters there. The weather wall shows it all tonight. The massive system that moved up the east coast and quickly in the last 24 hours. And tonight, it is still hitting. Meteorologist Ginger Z with what to expect this evening. But first, ABC's Gio Benitez leads our coverage on Long Island, where a massive sinkhole opened part of the mess from this storm. Gio. David, good evening to you. This is not what you expect to see at your local strip mall. A sinkhole opening up after extreme flooding here. So many people across this nation feeling Mother Nature's fury. Flash flood chaos across the Northeast. Watch in Rhode Island. Firefighters had to rescue this driver after water inundated his car. In New York, a state of emergency. 13 inches of rain in just hours, setting a new record for the entire state. So stormy, the weather caused a tractor trailer to hit and kill a driver. Here on Long Island, the floodwaters were so intense that cars were actually floating. Take a look at this one right here. The water picked this car up and then slammed it against that railing. The house behind that railing flooded too. Cars in the cul-de-sac, a total loss. My house is like in Long Island right now. I have water all around my whole house. In Babylon, New York, even the fire chief is pumping out three feet of water from his basement. This has never been this high before, not even during Sandy. In Michigan, where highways turned to rivers, some major roadways were still closed, caked with mud. In Maryland, heavy rains completely flooded at least one long-term parking lot at BWI Airport in Baltimore. In North Carolina, flooding, power outages, downed trees, and water rescues after severe storms. Flash flooding wreaking havoc in the West, too. In Phoenix, watch, a man trapped on the roof of his car. Firefighters on the scene as the rushing water was about to wash it away. Oh, no. Seconds to spare, he has only one choice, a leap of faith jumping toward the truck and to safety. The system flooding the east got its start in the Midwest. And here's what it did to Good Samaritan Hospital in Kearney, Nebraska. The images coming out tonight, the hospital's dining room flooded after nine feet of water crashed through the windows. Thankfully, no one was hurt. And back here on Long Island, as that sinkhole keeps growing, workers here are already trying to fill it. They and so many others here are going to be cleaning up for quite some time, David. Gio Benita is starting us off tonight. I want to get right to meteorologist Ginger Z, who's been tracking this for a couple of days now, and this thing is not over yet. No, still New Hampshire and Maine feeling the brunt of it, but I wanted to bring you back to what was happening. Look at this map, David. This is accumulated rainfall. So how much rain fell? All from a radar estimate, but still, southern New Jersey, central New Jersey, you see six to eight. But let's get in a little closer. Right there in central Long Island, see where you see 13.27 inches. That's Islip. Only five miles away, one to two. So how does something like that happen? Well, let me go through the radar here. This is from early this morning, from midnight on. You see the orange and red? Really heavy radar rains slipping right over the central parts of Long Island. We see it again and see what was causing it. It's that low pressure system rotating counterclockwise, all the moisture transport, something we call the low level jet in full effect. And this thing was relatively slow moving. All of that combining for a mess. It explains why neighborhoods just a few miles away didn't get any of it. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, the West Coast tonight, they're also dealing with flooding. Right. And in the West, we've got those flash flood watches. You can see them here all in that aqua color. But they're also along that cold front worried about the red flag warning. So you'll see gusty winds, lightning, and of course, nothing that helps those fires. All right. Meteorologist Ginger Z. We'll see you tomorrow morning on GMA.